to do. I thank you that deliverance is going to happen. I thank you that my healing will take place. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, God, because you're worthy. You're worthy, 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 God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going straight in today. Don't look for me to pump you or push you. I want you to send your praise forth. You're worthy, God. you have just come God's already here he's already here I don't know if you can feel it if you're sensitive enough in your spirit that you can feel it you can discern it you can pick up in the atmosphere what he's doing but I'm telling you now God is gonna do something phenomenal in this place God is gonna do something where your life will be changed you're not gonna leave here the same do you believe that tonight do you believe that tonight? So listen, all you've got to do is very simple. Be free in the presence of the Lord. Because the Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. So that means you have to walk out of here a free man, a free woman, a free child, a free whoever you are. You are going to walk out of here free today. So listen, just lift your praise with me. Let's just praise him. Come on, just praise him. Just praise him. Let him hear the fruits of your lips. Just praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, just praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, just worship him. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. He's worthy, he's worthy. Come on, praise him, praise him. Praise him. Come on, that's it. Praise him. Come on, that's it. Praise him. Come on, that's it. Praise him. God, you're worthy. Yes, you are. You're worthy, God.
why we are here to celebrate the name of Jesus tonight. Amen? Anybody came to celebrate him tonight? Come on, just turn to your neighbor and say, we're here for God. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, we're here for God? Put some stank on it. Say, we're here for God. Come on. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, if you love him, you don't got to wait for the music to start. Just start, just start praising just start praising. Just start praising. Just lift him up in praise and worship. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift him up right now. Yes, God, we lift you. Come on, we lift him because he's good and worthy. Amen. Come on, I just need you to clap your hands like this. Come on, y'all can do better. Be a little louder. Can you clap your hands? Let's lift your right there. Oh, 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 oh,
touch from you if you don't come we won't move we're desperate lord for a touch from you if you don't come we won't move we're desperate lord for a touch from you if you don't come we won't we won't desperate from if you don't come we won't how many desperate people out there come on lift your voice say you don't come we won't desperate if you don't come yes we won't we won't move if you don't come Your presence. 
yours from the start casting down my crown at your feet all I am is yours hey, I step down
Come on, don't stop there. Come on, keep lifting him. Come on, lift him up. Come on, lift him up. Come on, if you love him, open up your mouth and give God your best praise. Come on, somebody, open up your mouth and shout and tell the Lord how much you love him. We give him the glory. We give him the glory. Look here, we're about to get ready for our, we're, I'm Pastor Ryan Johnson. It is so good to see each and every one of you here at Passion Worship Night. Come on, let's somebody, let's make some noise for Jesus in here. Come on. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Come on, let's make some noise for Jesus in here. Look here, this is what we're going to do. Our next, our next worship leader is coming. Rashad Wright is coming. I want y'all to get prepared, but we're about to take the next 60 seconds. We're about to take the next 60 seconds for you to go around and greet somebody and tell them hi. Tell them what's up. High five them. I'm going to give you 60 seconds. They're going to put a 60 second clock right up here. Come on, walk, come on. And I want you to go around. Go, go quickly, quickly. Greet somebody. Greet somebody. Come on, greet them. Love on them. Love on them. Come on, love on them. Come on. Come on, tell them what's up. Tell them hi. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, hey, come on, come on. Now every time I clap my hands, every time I stomp my feet, every time I lift my voice, I sing a Judah prayer. Come on. Now every time I clap my hands, every time I stomp my feet, Every time I lift my voice, I send the Jew to pray. Come on. Now every time I clap my hands, every time I stomp my feet, and every time I lift my voice, I send the Jew to praise. Come on. Now every time I clap my hands, every time I stomp my feet, every time I lift my voice, I send the Jew to praise. Come on. Late in the mid, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn it around. It's gonna work in your favor. Just you wait and see it. Yeah. Late in the midnight hour. Come on. God's gonna turn it around. It's gonna work in your favor. Let me hear y'all say, come on, somebody say. Come on, choir. Come on, do you believe it? Just you wait. Come on, late in the God's gonna, it's gonna work. Come on, y'all help me do this one more time. Now every time I clap my hands, every time I stomp my feet, every time I lift my voice, I sing a Jew to pray. Come on. Now every time I clap my hands, every time I stomp my feet, every time I lift my voice, I sing a Jew to pray. Make some noise for Rashad Wright. Come on, worship God in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. Thank you, Lord. We're so excited to be here tonight, yeah. to be in the presence of God. Thanks, Jesus. We believe that God is going to do something special tonight. We came in in the middle of a sound check, and I thought, I thought worship had already started. God literally showed out in sound check. So you know tonight is about to be a problem in a good way. Hallelujah. Bless God. Bless God. I believe with all my heart that one of the biggest uh, ways that we as believers have robbed ourselves is by not understanding that God literally wants to spend time with us. Yes, he does. We've been kind of trained to think that it takes us being perfect. We've been trained to think that it takes us having it all together. We've been trained to think, hallelujah, that somehow we have to earn the presence of God. I hate to pop your bubble, but there is absolutely nothing you can do to earn the presence of God. You will never be good enough. But it's only by his blood that covers us, that makes us worthy to enter into his presence. So I believe with all my heart tonight, 
that God is not, he, listen, he's not looking for another concert. He's not looking for another opportunity to rock out. But I believe he wants to change lives tonight. I believe he wants to mend broken hearts tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, rejoice in this place if you believe that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, who? I'm not going to leave here the same way that I came in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I refuse to leave here the same way that I came in. Hallelujah. Come on, just begin to make him feel welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Jesus, we're here for you. God, we came for you. Hallelujah. Nothing else is more important. Nothing else takes priority. God, we're here for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you in this place. Hallelujah. God, we welcome you in this. Come on, he's here. The healer is here. The protector is here. Hallelujah. The deliverer is here. Come on, if you believe it, make them feel welcome. Hallelujah. God, we give you a place to live tonight. God, we give you a place to live tonight. Hallelujah. All over this room, say, God, you can build your home on my worship. Come on, shout and say, you can build your home on my worship. Say, God, inhabit my praise. Inhabit my worship. Live here. Dwell here. Hallelujah. God, we don't want to do this without you. Hallelujah. We don't want to do life without you. Yes, I will. I'll give my own glory. 
isn't just music hallelujah the understanding of this song the revelation in this song is that worship is not just the slow song we sing at church but it's how we live our lives every day it's a posture of our heart so when we say god come live here come dwell here what we're saying is god there's no part of my life that you're excluded from there's no part of my life that i'm kicking you out god you're invited Hallelujah, can we say that all over this room? Say, God, you're invited. God, you're invited. Come to where I'm here. Come to where I'm here. You're invited. You're invited. Hallelujah. God, I welcome you. Hallelujah. Bring everything that you are. Come to rest here in my heart. Come and worship them all over this place. Worship them all over this place. Hallelujah. God, we give you a place to live. God, we give you a place to live. Dwell in my heart, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, cry out all over this building. Hallelujah. There's no one like you. Hey. Say you can build. Make that your anthem tonight. Make that your anthem. One more time, you can build. You can build your home on my worship. And I'll stay. I'll stay right here where I'm well. So you can build. You can build your home on my worship. That's what we want. I'll stay. Yeah. I'll stay. One more time, you can build. You can build your home on my worship. And I'll stay. I'll stay right oh. here where I'm well. You can build. You can build your home. Stay. One more time, you can build, you can build, you can build, and I'm staying, no, I'm staying, so you can build, you can build, you can build, say I'm staying, I'm staying, no, I'm staying, I'm staying, so you can build, 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 you There's no place else I'd rather be. to stay right here, dwell in our hearts, God, dwell in our hearts, God, because in your presence there's nothing missing, there's nothing broken, oh, there's nothing missing, there's nothing broken. Yeah, yeah. The same God who raised the dead, the same God who gives sight to the blind, He dwells right here with us. Yeah, Woo. He dwells right here with us. Yeah, the same God who parts the ocean. Yeah, the same God who made us all out of dust. Yeah, He dwells right here with us. He dwells right here with us. Oh, 
the same God who died on the cross. Hallelujah. The same God who defeated the grave. Yeah. He dwells right here with us. He dwells right here with us. He dwells right here with us. Hallelujah. He dwells right here with us. Yeah. He dwells right here with us. What a privilege and honor to see God who hung the sun, the creator of the heavens and the earth. The creator of the heavens and the earth. He dwells right here with us. Oh, what a privilege and an honor. What a privilege and an honor. Oh, God. What a privilege and an honor. Take me to that place, Lord. To that secret place where I can be with you. You can make me like you. Wrap me in your arms. Come on, sing it. Can we lift that up all over this room? Say, take me to that place, Lord, to that secret place where I can be with you. You can make me like you. You can make me like you. Say, wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. Yeah. There's no place else I'd rather be, God. This is where healing is. This is where freedom is. Say, take me to that place. Hallelujah. To that secret place where I can be with you. And you can make me like you. Say, let me
to that place, Lord, where I can be who I am, where I don't have to put up a front, God, and you can make me like it. Oh, take me to that place. I want to go to the deepest place. I want to go to the deepest place. Where I can be, where I can be, where I can be, where I can be. Take me to that place. To that secret place. Yes. I can't get there without you. I can't get there without you. I can't get there without you. I don't know which way to turn without you. Because you first loved us. Because you first loved us. Just you and him. Because you first loved us. Woo! The love of God is so tangible. And we love you, Jesus. Yes, we love you, Jesus. Because you first loved us. Because you first loved us. Yes, we love you, Jesus, because you first loved us. Yeah. Oh, let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Hey, let us become more aware of your
All over the building, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands all over the building. Come on, come on, lift it, lift it, lift it. Your presence. Now, this is my favorite part when it says, Let us become more aware of your presence. Sometimes the presence of the Lord can be moving and we're not aware of the presence of the Lord. Now, if you're aware that the presence of the Lord is here right now, I want you to throw your hands up all over the building. Throw it all, all, all over the building. Come on, if you're aware that God's presence is in the house. And while you're lifting, I want you to start worshiping him. Come on, while you're lifting, I want you to start giving him everything that is due unto him. Because he's worthy to be praised and he's worthy to be honored. He's worthy to be glorified. He's worthy. We say, let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of let us become more aware. Let us. I want you to sit down for a second on purpose because we're about to get ready to do almost the last transition of our worship and we're going to get Minister J. Todd to come up soon. But I want to I wanna read something quickly. I'm going to read it quickly, and I want y'all to just stay with me just for a second. I don't like to have nights like, like this, and we don't have the word in front of us. Because the Bible said it's the word of the Lord that's sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing both soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and is the discerner of thought and intent. Now, I'm going to read this quickly, and I need y'all to just stay with me just for the next five to ten minutes. The Bible says in 1 Luke chapter 1, it says, Now Mary arose in the days and went into the hill country with haste to a city called Judah. Somebody shout Judah. And entered into the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped in the womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. I want you to understand this. I want you to know this. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, something is about to leap in my life. Oh, you said that too quiet. Somebody say, neighbor, something is about to leap in my life. Now, this is what I want you to understand because we're, we're at a place right now in the house of the Lord where some people have stepped into 2023 believing that God is going to turn some things around. You're believing that God is about to allow you to step into great places, places that you never thought that you were going to go. This year, some people are going to be financially well off. Somebody make some noise in here. 
this year some people some people's credit is about to get better somebody make some noise this year we're about to see healing signs and wonders somebody make some noise uh, because we have reached a, we have reached a dimension and the place that God desires to see his glory in the house but the problem that his glory hasn't been in the house for a long time, and especially after pandemic, simply because uh, that people are not ready to go ahead and move into a place of praise. Now, this is an unusual environment because we now have entered into a stage where I truly believe God is about to allow us to go to another level in praise. And if you have a, a loud enough shout, I believe that God is going to bring deliverance to your house right now. Y'all ain't shout loud enough. Huh? I truly believe that if you open up your mouth, generational curses are going to be broken. I, I believe if you shout loud enough, huh? I believe that God is about to hit your door and every assignment of death is about to be canceled in the name I don't know who I'm talking to but it's about to be canceled in the name of Jesus because what God wants to do is that whenever praise is in the atmosphere, whenever Judah comes first, God says, I'm ready to do what I need to do for the people. I'm ready to cause them to be able to receive. There's a double anointing that's about to come to your doorstep, and we have arrived to a season that God wants to do something. God, look, somebody shout, God's going to do something. God's going to do something, but y'all sit down because I told you I'm here for a few moments. Uh, I want you to understand this is significant uh, because in the book of Luke chapter 1, you've got to understand Jesus is not born yet. Jesus is not born yet. They have been hearing that a Messiah is on his way, but he has not been born yet. But because there's one that is supposed to come before him called John the Baptist, but they have not met yet because John is not been born yet. Somebody say it's not born yet. It's not born yet. It's not born. I want to tell you just because there's a dream that hasn't been birthed yet, uh, it doesn't mean it ain't going to get ready to come to fruition because, because what God wants to do, uh, don't get scared. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm pregnant with something big. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant with something big. Uh, and so, and so Mary, Mary is pregnant. Mary is at a young age, and Mary is now in a position where she should be cast out, but she has a virgin, absolutely incredible birth, an incredible pregnancy. She decides to go over Elizabeth's house. In Mary is Jesus. Jesus is, in, is symbolic to the presence of God. But when she goes, remember John is significant to baptism. Mary decides that I'm going to go, I'm going to take the present over to a place where there is baptism. I need y'all to hear this. <laughs> because she realizes something must be get ready to happen. She goes over there. Just normal. Somebody say normal, normal. Somebody see, she has no expectation. She just goes over there normal. And can I tell you, some of y'all are about to walk in your job on Monday morning, walking in there normal, and God is about to open up a door of promotion for you because it's just going to be normal. You ain't even going to expect it, but your boss going to look at you and say, look here, I don't know what it is, but I just want to give you a promotion, and I just want to, some of y'all are about to walk in your, in, about to walk in church on Sunday and meet your husband, ladies. Uh, some y'all are about to walk into new places. She walks into the house normal. And she just makes a greeting. And she say, Elizabeth, I'm here. In other words, she makes a sound. The sound that she makes causes something inside of Elizabeth to leap. The presence walks in. Listen, the presence walks in, and when it walks in, 
it walks into an environment where it is around John the Baptist. But the problem is, is John will come, and when John comes, he comes to baptize them with water. And it is when Jesus comes, and Jesus has to die and resurrect, does the Holy Ghost come. And for one of the first times, the Bible says the Holy Ghost is revealed when Mary, who was pregnant with Jesus, walks in the room, makes a sound, and the baby leaps, and the Bible said she was filled with y'all y'all missed it y'all missed it y'all missed it she was filled with the holy look at your neighbor and say neighbor I feel like the Holy Ghost is about to come in here I feel like something is about to get ready to hit off and something's about to get I want you to high five your neighbor and say I'm about to hit the presence of God I'm about to hit oh something is about to get ready to leap something your finances are about to get ready to leap your breakthrough is about about to get ready to leap because as soon as you hear the sound the sound that God wants you to hear oh y'all gotta hear this there's a sound hold on hold on now now everywhere you go you will hear the sound some places you go you will hear noise you got to hear what I'm trying to say. You will hear noise. And not every noise is the Holy Ghost. But the Bible says when he, when the baby heard Mary's sound, when the baby heard Mary's voice, some of y'all are about to walk and deliverance is going to happen. When you open your mouth, when you declare and decree, when you begin to say, God, I'm going to open. Hold on. I got two more minutes. I got two more minutes. I got two more minutes. The church could have been delivered a long time ago. If we stopped sitting down and looking at the, po the platform as entertainment. <laughs> if, we, if we stopped looking at it as normality. Normality. Can you imagine if while the sound is being released from here. And the sound is being released from here. Can you imagine the revival that will leap in this city? Can you imagine what God would get ready to do? Uh, I double dare somebody to open up your mouth uh, and begin to give God your praise uh, and give him your sound. Uh, give him your sound of deliverance. Uh, give him a prophetic noise. Give him something that... Oh, God, come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open. Oh God, I double dare you to give God your best praise and say, God, here, here I am. Release your sound. Let your brother leap out of the drug that I deal out of. Let your mother dip out of where she was. Uh, let them leap. Uh, let them leap. Uh. Well, I feel God in here. Uh. I feel like God wants to do something now. I feel like the glory of God is in this place. There's a new level of anointing. There's a new level of deliverance. There's something that God wants to do. Open your mouth and shout. Open your mouth and shout. Open your mouth. Open your, open your mouth. Deliverance in the, in the house. God wants to do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She didn't walk into any city. The Bible says she walked into Judah. She didn't walk into any place. 
The Bible said when she walked in, she had presence. Is there anybody that walks in the place and has presence? You're just not knowing, but you have presence. You got something on this. You got authority. You got something on it. I don't want just gift. We need presence. I don't just want anything. We need presence. Somebody open up your mouth and shout. High five your neighbor quickly and say, neighbor, there's something in me that I got to let loose. There's something in me that I got to give to God. There's something in me that I got to let them know. There's something in me that we got to be able to give God. There's something in me. There's a newness of life in me. There's a new thing in my belly. There's a new thing. It's more than anything that I could ever think about because God wants to do something and he wants to do it well. Oh God, I feel the glory up in here. I feel God up in here. I wish I double dare y'all to take a quick 30 seconds of praise. 30 seconds. Y'all gotta hear what I'm saying. Give it to him. Come on, give it to him. 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 If I've got to praise, I'll praise all by myself. If I got to give him glory, I'll give him glory all by myself. Because I know the goodness of Jesus and all he has done. All he has to God, come on, be the glory. Come on, to God. Come on, somebody say to God. For the thing. Come on. Come on to, to God, come on, be the glory to God. To God. For the thing, be for the Seconds, just press it, go crazy, come on. Everybody clap, yup. It sounds like somebody came to have church tonight. Come on, one more time. Everybody clap your hands.
And I want you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'll praise him because I'm free. Oh, you got the wrong neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'll praise him because I'm free. Tell him he called my name and I ran out of that grave. He called my name and I ran out of that grave. Out of the darkness into the marvelous light. If that's your testimony, one more time, will you scream in the room? Come on, I just want to say this before we start. Thank you guys so much for welcoming us. I want you to give a shout out to your pastors, Pastor Ryan and Pastor Jamie. And the entire Awaken family, when the Lord gave me this vision uh, to do this worship tour, I could not have not done it here. So I just want to say thank you so much. Are you ready to worship more? Y'all quiet. I say you ready to worship just a little bit more. We ready? Let's go. Come here, just clap. Clap, 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 clap. I can hear you awake. Come on, clap those hands. Come on, come on, everybody clap yo. Everybody clap yo. Come on, one more time. Come on, clap those hands. Hey, I wish you had a smile on your face in the room. If you believe that he called your name and you ran out of that grave, I tell you to open up your mouth and worship him. Hey, 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 stay right there, man. Let's make this declaration. Hey, hey, it is a glorious day. Glorious day, glorious day. I can hear you. It is a glorious day. Glorious day, glorious day. When he called my name, it was a glorious day. Glorious day. I wish I had some worshipers in the room that say glory. It's a glorious day. One more time, lift your voice. A glorious day. Some 
and I feel freedom in the room. You can stay there and act like he isn't who he is, but I worship him for who he is. <laughs> Some of you came to hear your favorite worship leader. You came to hear your favorite song. But unfortunately, I'm going to disappoint you today because the only thing that I came with is the presence of the Lord, not because I'm so powerful, but because he lives on the inside of me. And so when I open my mouth, it is inevitable that he will fill the room. And so when you open your mouth because that same spirit is inside of you, it is inevitable that he's going to fill the room. So I dare you to become a worship leader on your own. I dare you to use your instrument tonight and open your mouth and release yourself. I said release. This isn't about me. This isn't about anybody on a flyer. This is about Jesus. And when he's in the room, I said when he's in the room, that he's in the room. That means whatever you need, that thing you've been praying for, that thing you've been fasting for, that thing that you've been hoping for, is in the room. I said it's in the room. I said it's in the room. It's in the room. Didn't show up here because I have a good song. I've got a good praise. I've got a good worship. I've got a good honor. one more time. Do not wait for a worship leader. Do not wait for your favorite song. Ooh. While you're waiting to hear a song, he's waiting to hear your sound. While you are waiting to hear your favorite lyric, he is waiting for your sacrifice. 
So some of you actually need to get out of your seat and run down to these altars. Or some of you need to just find a place. Don't, do not be restricted in this atmosphere. If you need to lay out before God, if you need to get on your knees, whatever you need to do. But this room has just become a delivery room for every baby you thought you were not going to give birth to. For every baby you thought was going to have a result of abortion. For every vision inside of you that you thought you would never see. I came in to tell you that the physician is in the room. And he wants you to give birth. And it's going to come through your praise. It's going to come through your worship. It's going to come through your sacrifice. Lift up your head. Oh, he thanks. And be ye lifted up. He everlasting God. And let the King of glory come in. Let him in, 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 let him in. There it is, there it is, there it is, let him in. Let him in, there it is, there it is. Because when he comes in, everything changes. When he comes in, nothing stays the same. When he comes in, everything that was out of alignment straightens up. I said, let him in. to do something. I'm trying to move on, but he wants to touch me. I said, open, 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 open. Wherever you're watching from, I speak to you that are watching in the ICU. I speak to you that are watching in a prison cell. The glory of the Lord arrests you now. There is an open head. into church and trying to worship as if there's nothing wrong are over. And so I, I, I believe, I personally believe that to worship in spirit and in truth is to know that he resides here. Yes, I have issues going on. Yes, I've got circumstances. Yes, I got the bad doctor's report. Yes, I don't have the money for the bills that are on the table, but the spirit of the Lord when he comes upon my heart, I will dance. And so you may not physically dance, but there ought to be a dance in your heart. There ought to be a dance in your mind or a dance in your spirit. time where there wasn't technically a worship leader. There was a team of people that got up and they led us into devotion. And so I, my generation, we have been spoiled because we worship based on what the worship leader tells us what to do. But I remember a time where the house used to go up in, into such a, a, a worship and a sound that you literally could not control the atmosphere. There, was, there wasn't any set worship leader, but there was a sound of worship. And I believe 
that there is an ancient sound in this room that if we all get on the same page, which we are, if we all get on the same page and lift our voice, not worrying about who's next to you, not worrying about your situation for the next 30 seconds before we transition, can we as a house get on one accord and lift up a sound that will literally shift the atmosphere in this region? I dare you to lift up a sound. to the end. Jesus is with me. On him I can depend. For I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold out to the end. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly God, stay right here with us, filling us with no love. And for these blessings, we We know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine. Just the voices. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Say, ha. Will you 
Can you lift your hands and say,
Get your neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor, the grass may wither and the flowers may fade, but the word of the Lord, it, let's do it in this key, but the word of the Lord, it, the grass may wither and the flowers may fade, but the word of the Lord, it stands forever. If you believe that, can you lift your voice in the room? Let's say it's forever. 
Trust in your word. God will forever believe in your word. It stands forever. It stands forever. So listen. L. L. 
So listen, there's something that I want to do tonight. Um, so the Lord gave me the vision of dwell nights. And he, he gave me three words. He said unity, service, and culture. So we're establishing the culture of Jesus Christ. We're bringing about unity. And we're also being a service to the body of Christ. And so there is an individual. I don't know if you're in this room. Actually, no, I'm going to do this. It's okay. Uh, this young man right here. Are you a drum, you're the drummer? Okay, just keep going real quick. So I don't know what need you may have in your life. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, if my Jamaican family was here, they would say, I don't know you from Adam. But I want to sow a seed into your life tonight. Whether, whether it is you put gas in your car or groceries in your refrigerator, gone are the days where we have these worship experiences and we still allow people to go home with the issues they came here with. And so I'm, I, made a, I made a declaration that I will become the hands and feet of Jesus, not just by using this, but by using my resources. So I'm going to bless you. If you can see Bree and give her your cash app, whatever information, I just want to bless you. All right? I love you guys. Thank you so much, brother. But for those, I said it the last time, me and um, J. Todd go back a long way. We literally go back from, from London, from London, from the UK, living there all them years. He's been all over the place. But look here, I, I want to, y'all sit down quickly. I'm, I'm going to dismiss you in a second. Could you do me a favor, take out your phones. Take out your phones. I want you to do this quickly. I want you to go ahead and follow J. Todd Official. If you haven't followed it already, I want you to go ahead and do that. J, I hope I got this right. J. Todd Official on Instagram. I think it's on Instagram and I think it's on Facebook too if they use Facebook. And I want you to go ahead, while you're doing that, I want you to look up I am underscore Rashad Wright. He's our own local, he's our own local artist right here in Samus here. I want y'all to go ahead and follow him right now. Go ahead and do that if you have not done it yet. And if you, I want you to go ahead at the same time, since we all, so you can keep up. Because we do all these worship nights and all these different type of things all, all the time. You can go ahead and follow Awaken FTL. That's on Instagram or I believe Facebook as well. Just look for Awaken FTL. You can also find information on my Instagram, which is Ryan. I don't know if I'm speaking too fast. Ryan J Live. Ryan J Live. Go ahead and look that up and you'll so you can constantly be kept up with what's going on and what's taking place even right now. I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I don't want to leave here without giving people the opportunity to go ahead and sow a seed. Because I think, you know what, whenever you find good ground, somebody say good ground, you sow a seed. Because you don't know in the season of what we're doing. And I want to go ahead and echo this uh, with what J. Todd came and did. I'm gonna, I want to be able to bless somebody with $100 tonight. I want to go ahead and bless somebody with $100. That is definitely in need. I want to go ahead and do that. I want y'all to stand up, and I, we're going to go ahead and even go ahead and bless. When you sow tonight, you're also sowing into somebody else's life. You're sowing to make something happen, whatever this may be. Y'all stand to your feet. I'm, if you go, if you want to go ahead and sow, if you want to go ahead and sow, you can go on Cash App. It's dollar sign Awaken F T L Awaken. Just bring that up, please, at the back. Bring that up so they can see that. Awaken FTL, dollar sign Awaken FTL. If you want to do it by Zale, go ahead and do it. Awaken FTL at gmail.com. If you want to go ahead, let me tell you something. Nobody goes to a restaurant and doesn't tip the waiter. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. You don't go to the restaurant and don't tip. And, and you got it when you when you see a level of glory that has moved in here like the way it has moved into we want to go ahead and make that happen go ahead and sow a seed and when you sow a seed you're not only sowing in somebody on tonight 
you're also sowing into the neighborhood. We are constantly feeding the neighborhood, this neighborhood around us, and we're constantly blessing people and making sure that they're doing well. Having food drives, we partner with homeless shelters to make sure they get bottles of water. I mean, we're making things happen in this ministry. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, what we're gonna, you see these boxes right here, these giving boxes. It says serving our city, serving our city, serving our city. So if you're giving by digital, Go ahead. I want everybody to be a participant. I want you to come and just tap your phone on these boxes. Just come, just come, just come, just come. Whatever you're giving by, just go ahead and tap it on these boxes. And come on, just do it. If you if you need an envelope, envelopes are right there. In Envelopes are right there in the seats. Whatever it is, just come ahead and just go ahead and do it. Be a participant in this moment. Be a participant in this moment. I truly believe God is doing something. Quickly, wait, wait. Quick, make it simple. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. We thank God for what he's doing. While you're doing that, while you're doing that, if there's somebody in here, and I mean for real, if you have a for real need, for real, somebody look at this neighbor and say, for real, for real. Look at them and say, for real, for real. If you're in a place and you're in need, I want to do this. A few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we were able to, a woman was able to walk in this house and we were able as a church to bless her and her baby with a thousand dollars to make sure that they were all right and in the place that they needed to be. So we're a church, when you sow, when you sow the seed, I'm telling you right now, it's going into other people's lives. So if you're, I want one person, if you're really in need right now, come here. I want to make sure that we're going to make sure, give you $100. Whoever you are, come right here, whoever you are. I'm, if you're, I'm talking about if you're in real need, if you're in real need. Everybody looking at one another and saying, look at it. If you, if you ain't in need, that means you're blessed. Look at your neighbor and say, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. You're blessed. This is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. After church, because some people don't want to you see my wife right here? Lift your hands. Lift your hands, Pastor Jamie. See my wife right there? I want you to come and see and say, look here, I'm the one that was in need for the hundred dollars. I want you to go ahead and say, if that one person, whoever it is, go straight there, and I promise you we we'll go ahead and bless you on the night. Somebody just give God some praise in here. Y'all had a good time? Y'all had a good time? Look here, I wanna I wanna just say this. I wanna say this. Just bring that down just a little. I wanna say this quickly. If you don't have a church home, we are here every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. We'll be crazy, but but we make sure we serve God and, and that he may get all the glory on it and, and, and all, all the glory on it. If you got a church home, tell your pastor, I say, God bless you. But I want you to stand to your feet right now. We're going to get ready to go. Can we just take 30 seconds and just worship the Lord quickly? Can we just take 30 seconds before we get out of here and worship God? Come on, just take 30 seconds and worship the Lord. Come on. come on, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Just take it. Come on, just worship him. I know you're worshiped out, but I just want to make sure you give him the last few seconds of worship. Come on, because I'm telling you, this week is going to be a phenomenal week for you, and God is going to do some awesome things. Hold your neighbor's hands all across the room. All across the room. Hold it, hold it. I know it's been about a good three years. I think it's three years on March the 11th. March the 11th, I think it's 11th, they announced the, the, the pandemic. And anybody grateful that you survived? Oh, y'all, anybody grateful that you survived? You, you're still alive. We're going to get out of here. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you and we love you. We honor you for because you're God and you're God all by yourself. We thank you, Lord God, for being in this house. I thank you, Lord God, that these are a group of individuals that love you. They love you, Lord God, so much they will do anything for you. They're here to worship you. They're here to give you all the praise. They're here to give you all the glory. They're here, Lord. My prayer is that when they step into Monday morning, 
that you would go ahead and you would supply all of their needs according to their, your riches and glory that you would never allow them to fail, but you would always allow them to prosper. Because this is the season, Father, that great things are going to happen. This is the season that we're going to see things rain down. There is an overflow that is coming in their life. And we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Now, as they go home, my prayer is that you, Lord God, the blood is over their doorposts. For we come up against any death right now in the name of Jesus. And let the lamb of the blood of the lamb be over everything that they're doing. Have your way. We thank you. We love you. And we adore you. Let those hands go put your hands together open your mouth and give God your best praise come on give him your praise God bless you we look forward to see you soon have a wonderful week the service and I really do hope that you receive something that you can bring into your next week that will transform and change your life. We're just so excited every time we get the opportunity to have a worship service and you get to join us. Look here, I just want you to continue to share this. If you're on YouTube, press that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, press the notification button. Wherever you are, I just need you to share this moment because we believe at Awakened Church. Our aim and determination is to awaken the world through passionate people, one city at a time. We can't wait to see you soon. God bless you. God bless you.